so requesting all to just keep a pen and paper with you so we will not require any calculator as of today but please keep a pen and paper because there will be lot of small things i'll be asking you to uh, copy or maybe questions also i'll ask you to write down the time span of the lecture is less 45 minutes so we have to do the things in a much more smarter way so please keep a pen and paper with you just to write down the instructions okay so let us start now i think it's 11 already little bit ahead of 11 so we are having around 25 people with us the google classroom is a uh, group is created so i'll keep on posting you all the instructions i'll keep on posting you uh, the questions notes uh, ppt is as of now initially i'll not give but after the end of uh, one uh, chapter the ppt is will be sent to you and whatever notes have been prepared uh, the part of the ppt uh, all the ppts will be uh, all the ppt related data will be there in the notes so even if i do not share the ppt it will be okay if you need ppt just let me know i'll send you the pdf of that you are still people joining so if you are having any doubt i'm asking you please uh, you can unmute your mic you can ask or you can send question in the chat box anything you can do okay so almost uh, 30 people i can see now 29 actually so let us start let us start the session and if you are having any doubt please do not hesitate to ask me so unmute your mic and you can ask okay so let us start with uh, the session this is a 45 minute session this is the first lecture as you can see on the screen this is the first lecture on uh, introduction or this is a introductory lecture on ad hoc and sensor network uh the course name is 16 ec 762 and uh, myself dr saurav mitra this is the introductory session that i am uh, continuing so this uh, will be having a regular 100 marks paper and uh, this will be uh, there will be some seminar in this uh, thing that we will do and uh the books are available with us so there are three textbooks we will be uh, sharing all the textbooks with you uh, either in the whatsapp group or in the uh, email or something just let me give one minute okay so let me start this uh, this is the first uh, this is the first uh, introductory lecture i think uh, there are almost 31 people so i think i should start now okay so what is this ad hoc and what is the sensor network so ad hoc means it is not permanent uh, it is very much flexible uh, the sen the network can be uh, moving the network can change its configuration Uh, in a very uh, fast manner so that is what is meant by ad hoc and what is sensor network sensor network is nothing but a network of sensors but it is not only sensors uh, there has to be a sensor node that we have to design so what is a sensor node how to design a sensor node and uh, what are the communication thing in the sensor node all these things we will be saying shortly uh, within this uh, uh, lecture itself uh, first i'll what is the uh, so you can see here in the first slide that is lot of uh, applications have been shown 
the different applications you can see here just below my name so here it is in forest we can deploy sensor network in factory in hospital uh, for smart city for military application home for railways uh, for vehicle and for ip and all this and so everywhere we can put a network of sensors to make the uh, data availability to us in a very easier fashion to track all those things uh, all those uh, applications very easily so that's why we are putting the network of sensors uh, in, for this applications before we go for the subject let me tell you uh, this can be found so we'll be following the book of uh, s uh, c shivaram murthy you can find here the name of the book is given below i'll be sharing the soft copy of the book to you today itself uh, the page number might not match but yes the chapter numbers will match so i'll correct the page numbers and send to you and uh, in shivaram murthy the chapter number 5 and chapter number 6 these two will be there for our first module so only you have to remember that the book is c shivaram murthy and b s manoj not everything in the fifth or sixth chapter you have to study there are certain things you have to study yes for your curiosity you can go through the whole chapters uh, there are a lot of uh, communication related fundamentals in uh, these two chapters basic communication related you have already seen that okay. so what is there uh, we have to see the introduction of uh, what is uh, ad hoc sensor network it is in the fifth chapter issues in ad hoc wireless sensor network that is also there in fifth chapter of book manoj so this manoj book or shivrama murthy this book is our uh first textbook and then comes the main topic of uh, our module 1 that is called as mac protocol so mac is medium access and control protocol so a lot of data is there in the air and for our application air is the channel for our application uh, through air all the communication is taking place so how the data is exchanged through this uh, channel uh, that is medium uh, medium is nothing but air so how, what are the different criteria what are the different protocols Uh, while we are accessing data uh, through the channel or through the air or through the medium, uh, that is a, a main thing we will be studying in this chapter. Then, what are the different kinds of MAC protocol? It is medium access and control. And what then? There are two, three different types. That is contention-based MAC protocol and contention-based MAC protocol with reservation mechanism. So these are two, three different protocols. Protocols are nothing but the rules that we set. uh while in some action so uh, protocol of the college so some college is having protocol that you have to wear tie you have to wear shoes you have to wear some kind of uh, a dress code and all and uh, then you can come to college so while you are coming to college or school you have to follow those protocols what is meant by mac protocol mac protocol means whenever uh, sensor nodes or a mobile or uh, uh, other static sensor nodes they are trying to access data through the air or through the medium then what are the rules uh, those sensor nodes should follow that is actually given by mac protocol last topic in this chapter is uh, the power control mac protocol so this page numbers as per the book that i'll share i will just uh, change the page numbers i'll just uh, improve, uh, modify the page numbers and i'll send to you so books uh, page numbers will be given to you then my notes will be given to you so there is no shortage of material only you have to go through and this is mainly a theoretical subject so uh, not much numerical is there and theory is also not very difficult it is mainly communication and protocol based thing so uh, passing scoring and all these things will be uh, very high so don't at all worry about that but yes i'll ask you to read a lot of research papers from here and there mainly about applications so you will understand in which all places we are deploying this ad hoc and wireless sensor network and for many different kind of application very interesting subject uh, and i i would like to tell you basics of this subject in initial lectures and as we go in the third four chapters and all we will be seeing the application so this is more or less uh, the uh, basic introduction of it now let us start from what are the different types of uh, wireless networks so i have shown actually uh, in the left side so our uh, actual understanding starts from here so first you can write down in your uh, book or you can write down in your page there are mainly two types of wireless networks one is called as infrastructure based and another is infrastructure less okay. so these are the two names you can see left side it is called infrastructure based sensor network and right side it is infrastructure less uh, wireless network 
these are the two things so what is meant by infrastructure based wireless network and don't think wireless network means mobile phone it is not okay there can be many wireless sensor network we can design our own communication module we can design our own board uh, with uh, circuit sensor power supply communication paradigm and we can have our own sensor network where all the sensor nodes are designed by us okay uh, mobile phone and one another thing i would like to tell you mobile does not mean mobile phone mobile means which is moving so if i say it's a mobile network it can have two meanings it can have uh, the first meaning as it's a mobile network means it can be a network of mobile phone that is one meaning and second meaning if it's a mobile network means uh, the all the nodes within that network is moving okay so i will use two words if i say mobile network that means uh, the nodes are moving and if i say mobile phone network that means it will be a cellular network or mobile phone network so this is the protocol that will be following again i'll repeat mobile network means a network where the uh, sensor nodes are moving they are not static at one position and uh, mobile phone network means it is a cellular phone network when we are having our own smartphones in our hand uh, all such suppose 10 15 people are together in one area everybody is holding their own mobile phone and together whatever uh, mobile phone network they create that will be called as mobile phone network i think it is understood so mobile network and mobile phone network there is difference between that i'll go for this explanation what is meant by infrastructure based network and what is meant by infrastructure less network uh, infrastructure based network is uh, the mobile phone or cellular network that we are using there is a tower you can see here in this diagram uh, there is a tower or there is a base station so these are new words you are understanding so two things i asked you to write down infrastructure based network infrastructure less network and third thing base station base station is also called as cap that is centralized access point so base station and centralized access point you can say the tower is the base station for one uh, cell and the tower is having a lot of uh, different kind of hardware and they are having a generator set also for power backup and this towers mobile towers mobile phone towers or cellular network towers they are actually the control point so within a certain hexagonal area they are controlling all the communication part all the uh, power transfer part and everything so you can say that within one cell of mobile phone network that base station or centralized access process a centralized access point is like a principal in a college so principal within a college he is a base station he decides how to uh, run the college what are the different protocols that will be followed and all those things so he is a central point okay and his office is a central point in a college samely whenever you are talking about a mobile phone network or rather call it cellular network for that the base station is the uh, mobile phone tower so what we are doing is infrastructure based network in infrastructure based network there is a central access point there is a central control so this control is very much important so there is a control in infrastructure based uh, network Uh, you can see that it's saying it's fixed infrastructure base station or access point is there uh, example is wireless lan so wireless lan is uh, a local area network but it is not using any kind of cable physical cable for that air is used as a channel or medium in that case and you can see that this centralized access point it is controlling tablet tablet laptop nodes there can be mobile phone all those wireless devices are being controlled by one centralized access point so the way we talk it that is all this nodes laptop tablet tablet some other pc they are all talking to or they are all under control of this base station or centralized access point so there is a central control in infrastructure based uh, network okay and what is the job of base station it is given at the below base station is given by bs base station helps in routing or transmitting the information sent from the individual node to the destination node so if this uh, tablet wants to talk this laptop so there are two ways the communication is possible one is tablet talks to the base station and base station routes the information to the laptop so this is kind of a reflecting kind of a thing so this tablet first sends this information to the base station 
and base station routes the information to the laptop. This is indirect communication. And this tablet is talking to base station and base station is sending the data to laptop. So all the communications are happening through the base station. Initially, this was the structure of all the cellular or mobile phone uh, network. Okay, so all were indirect communication. What is the direct communication? Direct communication is tablet is directly talking to laptop. So there is no involvement of this base station or tower in between. Okay, so these two types of communication also you can write down. So first thing you have write a written infrastructure based network. Then you have written infrastructure less network. Uh, then third thing you have to write what is meant by base station. That is centralized access point CAP or BS. Same thing. Fourth thing you can write down what is meant by uh, indirect communication that is through base station and direct communication that is nodes. So all this tablet, tablet, laptop, nodes, mobile phone, they all in one sentence, in one word can be called as nodes only. Okay, nodes means which is having some sensing, which is having some communication uh, module with it. They can communicate with each other. They can communicate with the base station and everything. Okay, so when the nodes can uh, talk to each other direct communication when not nodes talk to each other through base station it is called as indirect communication so this is all about uh, infrastructure based uh, network so infrastructure based means there will be a centralized access point it is like our college with a principal so that you have to remember in this case uh, in red it is written that in infrastructure based communication every node is communication through communicating through the base station this is the uh, punch line that in infrastructure based communication it's written in red towards the uh, right side below of the slide every node communicates through the base station so it is always indirect communication in case of infrastructure based communication if you are having any doubt please keep on asking next what we will see 